Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here and you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anand Nayar, your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you're fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating how to install code igniter web framework on ubuntu 18.04 now before we dive in the installation part of installing Code Igniter web framework on Ubuntu 18.04, let us first of all understand some brief history as well as some things regarding Code Igniter web framework. Code Igniter is an open source rapid development web framework for use in building dynamic websites with PHP. The first public version of Code Igniter was released by Alice Lab on February 28, 2006. On July 9, 2013, Alice Lab announced that it was seeking a new owner for Old Igniter, citing a lack of resources to give the framework the attention they felt it deserved. On October 6, 2014, Alice Lab announced that Code Igniter would continue development under the stewardship of the British Columbia Institute of Technology. Code Igniter is loosely based on the popular model view controller MVC development pattern while controller classes are a necessary part of development under Code Igniter models and views are optional. Code Igniter can also be modified to use hierarchical model view controller that is HMVC which allows developers to maintain modular grouping of controller models and views arranged in a subdirectory format. Code Igniter is most often noted for its speed when compared to other PHP frameworks. In a critical take on PHP frameworks in general, PHP creator Rasmus Ladoff spoke at FrostCon conference in, two, in August 2008 nothing that he liked Code Igniter because it is faster, lighter, and least like a framework. So talking about some course source code and lessons, Code Igniter source code is maintained at GitHub and as of previous version 3.0 RC is certified open source software licensed with MIT lessons. Versions of Code Igniter prior to version 3 are licensed under a proprietary Apache oblique BSD style open source license. A 2011 decision to switch licensing to open source licensing sparked some community controversy, especially about the GPL incompatibility of the new license to which Alice Lab has responded with a series of articles entitled Software License Awareness Week. Now, if we talk of some brief details and some values of Code Igniter, here they are. The original author is Alice Lab. Developer is British Columbia Institute of Technology. The initial release was done on February 28, 2006, and the latest stable release is version 3.1.8, which was released on March 23, 2018, a few months back of filming this video and repository is under github so i will be also giving the link and also demonstrating the link down below in the description it is written in php and it supports platform php 5.6.0 plus and it is a web framework so now you can see on the screen that the website that is codeigniter.com is opened and you can see it's a very beautiful and clean interface and all the facts of recent news and active forum threads are there on the website. So even this uh, shows why we need Code Igniter framework with a small footprint, simple solutions, clear documentation, nearly zero configuration, strong security, exceptional performance and many many more. And believe me, when I was testing 
uh, code igniter even I am also recommending that students and even those researchers who work on web development they should surely use code igniter as a web framework because it helps them to enable the development of dynamic PHP websites so if we talk of more details here is the link for code igniter documentation so here is a documentation and you can find all the documentation over here and if you talk of community so it's an active active community and very soon we can find code igniter 4 also coming up in a few coming months but right now during this filming of this video we are using version 3.1.8 which is the current version and we will be using the latest Ubuntu version that is Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic Piva and here is the link of the github so you can see github.com slash bcit hyphen ci slash code igniter and you can find all details of the files as well as some definition and server requirements over here so now let us go to the part B of my video in which I will be demonstrating how to install code igniter on Ubuntu 18.04 so let's get started so you can see that I have started VMware workstation so I'm using VMware workstation that is 14 so let me type my password so here is Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic Beaver and on this I will be installing that is code igniter version 3.1.8 and here are all the steps so I've already made the notes for how to install uh, code igniter on Ubuntu and uh, I will be leaving all the links on my Facebook page so let us start with the terminal so let us first of all log in with root so let us go with the command that is su space minus and let's type the password so now you can see that the root has logged in so the first things first so before we install the code igniter framework so let us first of all install some basic packages as well as update the system so let's go with this command apt hyphen get update so installation is very simple very clean very beautiful so now let's install some net tools so that we should we could get some IP address based commands from Ubuntu so let's go with this command that is apt hyphen get install net hyphen tools so you can even go for apt install but uh, for new users I will surely use apt install in the coming videos but for this video I will be using apt hyphen get install so you can see that it has already downloaded and it is processing so it is setting up the net tools okay so now if we run this command that is if config so now you can see that I can get the IP address so it is important for you to install this now let's go with the path first code igniter runs on Apache web server and written in PHP language so you will have to install the Apache and PHP to your system so the first things first we have to install the Apache web server with the following command so let's go with this that is apt hyphen get install Apache to space minus y so this will automatically install the Apache web server okay so you can see that it is setting up okay so Apache is being set up now and it is enabling all the modules okay. okay so it is done so now before I go with the next module parts of the command let me first of all tell you in a very straight manner that PHP latest version is not available in Ubuntu 18.04 so we have to add the repository for that so that we can pull out the latest PHP version so for that what I need to have that is apt hyphen get installed software properties hyphen common so let's paste this command so this will enable us to bring the latest PHP and its all modules which are required to install the code igniter so after that we can just go for this command that is to install all the PHP modules as well as the PHP 
So I will be using the PHP version 7.1, but no doubt uh, Code Igniter can support PHP 5.6, but we live in the world of 2018, and uh, I want that latest versions of PHP and Apache should be installed, so I'm going for PHP 7.1. So let's paste this command and press enter. Oops, uh, so let's update the package first. So let's update with the packages first. So now what we have to do is to enable a repository for PHP. So after this, we can beautifully continue with the update and installation of PHP on the machine. So let's clear this and let's install this. So you can see that the PHP is now downloading and after that it will automatically be set up in the system. So depending on the net connection it can take up to 1 minute or less than 30, 30 seconds. So you can see that it is beautifully unpacking, processing and setting up the PHP on my machine. So if you follow steps there is no need to worry everything will go beautifully like a butter. Okay. So now we are done. Now the next step is that in order to start the Apache Web Services and to enable it at boot time, we have to go for these two commands so that when you restart the machine or when you shut down the machine and you come back again, your, uh, your code igniter framework should be working beautifully. So let's start this and let's enable this. So it is done. Now the next part is to install Code Igniter. So the first thing is to download the latest version from the GitHub uh, link which I have already given you when I have started the installation. So let's copy this. So the version is 3.1.8. So let's wget it. So it is about 2.6 MB, very short, very uh, thing over there. So you can find over here that is version 3.1.8 is downloaded. So let's unzip this version that is unzip 3.1.8.zip. So it is unzipped. So now what we have to do, once extracted, we have to extract the directory to the Apache root directory and give proper permissions with the following commands. So let's copy this directory first. Let me clear this. So it is copied and, let's, and now let's go with the permissions commands so that we can beautifully execute it. And now let's go with the final command. So now what we have to create is to create an Apache virtual host directive for Code Igniter. So what we have to do, we have to create a, this particular file that is codeigniter.conf and press enter. So before that we have to copy all this, we need to find the IP address of our machine. So let's open a new terminal and let's get the IP address. So the IP address is 192. So let me type the IP address that is 192.168.211.143 okay so let me save it so let us copy this uh, everything virtual host and let me close this terminal and let me come back and let me paste it so you can see that the virtual host server admin document root server name uh, server alias ubuntu so if you are working with a public ip or you have a dns server or you are having other settings so you can work on the settings as follows so let's press control x let us save the file with yes and let's press enter so almost we are done so now let us enable the site of code igniter so let us paste this and we have to reload apache 2 so let us go for this command that is systemctl restart apache 2. So it is restarted and now what we have to do, 
we have to just take the IP address that is 192.168.211.143 to our web uh, to our main uh, machine so let's go with this 192.168.211.143 so yes voila we can see that the code igniter is properly installed so now you can proceed with the web development with the PHP so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Code Igniter web framework using Ubuntu 18.04 using a PHP 7.1 and Apache 2 so I hope that you do like this video don't forget to hit the like button to this video you can comment and you can even put me uh, some more questions that what can be done and what new videos you want me to make on the coming uh, short time on my YouTube channel and don't hit to forget the subscribe button of my YouTube channel thank you so much and see you next time in my next video thank you so much for watching